Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is a tutorial about how to show in-game footage in a GIF animation and of course how to make a background color transparent. So it might be something like that where you rotate a a meteor or a planet or whatever around its axis and then make a short uh, GIF animation from this and then make sure that you create a transparent background so it fits better in your website for example. Also um, for in-game footage you don't need to take care of the transparency since you want to show the whole screen. But there are some limits I want to go over and yeah if you want to do something like that to show in-game footage or menus you created or anything um, including the mouse where you click on buttons and can show anything in your yeah on your website for example or I don't know post in Twitter then this is going to be for you okay so let's get started at first I want to notice that this is a patreon requested tutorial so if you have any quick requests you want to make sure to get soon or actually yeah done uh, make sure you become my patreon everything about that will be in the description below and of course in the end of the video so let's get started at first um, the request was how I can rotate a yeah an object like an earth or a planet or whatever or in my case I just yeah created this small uh, meteor let's see if I can move that thing there we go it's going to be a pretty high res mesh so um, yeah there might be some lags in here uh, basically only in that yeah, in Unity itself. So nothing special about that. It's pretty high res, as I said. Um, and I just uh, yeah stamped some crates on that and painted it a bit. So nothing special, as I said. So what we want to do is we want to create a new small script, which is going to take care of the rotation in a constant velocity or a constant speed. So this constant speed is always um, yeah, driven by transformations and also, as you can see, pretty high res. Um, also, um, yeah, we need to take care of that, that we use uh, time or delta time to be precise in its speed. I'm gonna uh, open up that rotation script in there and show you what you have to do. Okay, so finally... Um, the mono develop has opened. What I just did is I created a private float for rotation speed and did that or yeah made it 10f. So depending on how fast you want to rotate your planet or your obstacle or whatever or your character may be in the middle, then you can use it as fast and as yes, slow as you want. The deal is the faster you go the mo the less frames you need in your GIF animation. For example if you have 100 frames one rotation of the complete object will take lower or smaller amount of frames instead of being yeah, slower so you will have a lot of frames later on and of course yeah you need to make sure that it is not too big since it will cost a lot of megabytes and for a website it's going to be yeah, not that great. Make sure it's fast enough and not too slow so otherwise you would have a super big animation in the end. So and in update we just rotate this one around with transform.rotate which is one of the transform functions. You can also choose as I already said uh, rotate around so it's going to be a transform um, dot rotate around. The rotate around instead would take a point a vector 3 point and an axis and an angle um, which is basically the, doing the same stuff in here. The point is going to be the ex, uh, yeah, the the point like transform the position or any other point in the world space. Then you can use the axis, which in my case is here uh, for uh, the vector three dot forward, and then we are gonna go the angle, and angle is going to be time or delta time times rotation speed. So you decide what you want to do. This rotate around basically can be used to have a yeah, another point instead of the own rotation point like uh, the transform dot position. So yeah, you can decide what you want to take. I'm gonna use that transform rot rotate. Um, I choose the axis transform dot uh, forward since I have um, or I didn't 
um, exported my FBX model in the right order or in the with the right pivot point. So that instead of uh, being uh, vector three dot up, in my case, it's going to be a vector three dot forward. So um, if you have exported yours right, correct with the right axis to the upper position, you, then it's going to be dot up for you like this. Um, if you have done, uh, I don't know, pretty much more wrong, it could also be vector 3.left. So you need to make sure that you choose the right axis to ra rotate around, whatever you want and wherever you want to rotate this. And you can, of course, go into the model and rotate it into, or basically into Unity and rotate it at, as, yeah, however you want to. Okay, so this is going to be automatically and to have a constant velocity or constant speed I'd use uh, time and delta time and of course the time uh, which is the rotation speed. You can also go and do some crazy math in here but we don't need to actually. I'm gonna save the script and this is going to be directly on my little planet I just created in here and when I press play this thing should rotate around on its um, yeah forward axis um, and you should see that in just a moment and um, yeah again it's a crazy high rest so that's why it's taken a while okay so now you can see it's rotating pretty fast with 100 um, with a speed of 100 so for a GIF animation, this might not be the best speed, so you need to try around with that. But maybe 50 of uh, type 50 speed, or with a float of 50 rotation speed, it might be a bit more handy. Um, again, 10 is going to be very slow, so you are not getting that bad, the best result since um, the file size of the GIF will be um, yeah exploding. Okay, so now we have done the rotation. As you can see, it's going to rotate constantly at the constant speed. Uh, what we want to do is we want to create that small GIF animation or basically a GIF animation of that small window. The smaller it is, the better it is since it's not taking too much um, yeah, space. So what we want to do is as a uh, GIF animation screen recorder program, for example, are, we have two options. The first one is screen to GIF. A screen to GIF is a pretty exciting and of course pretty interesting program, but has a lot of bugs. And the other um, program I want to introduce, I don't get any money for them. So yeah, this is also a free program you can use is going to be called GIFCAM. So GIFCAM can be found in here on blocks uh, block dot barhara I don't know baranaya apps or also dot com slash GIFCAM. I will send the link below in the description. And in here you can just uh, click on version 5.1 um, and download that over here. So you don't need to install anything. You just um, yeah open the zip file or the exe file from that zip file, and you, then we can, are good to go. So yeah, if you have downloaded that, we will be back, or I will show you how this is going to work when I have opened it up. Okay, so now I have GIFCAM opened. As you can see, that's just a small window which you can drag around as always. You can also resize it so you decide how big you want your GIF animation. For example, when we are taking that screen over here, my game screen, I can record that pretty easily and uh, choose the canvas size or the GIF size. And if it's only that small planet, for example, I can also reduce the size. So actually I, I'm cropping a bit away. Um, the smaller the image, the better. So it wouldn't be that big. So also in the options, which are, um, over here in customization we can change a lot of stuff um, like the fps options which means frame per second so we have some basics ones already here 10 frames per second 16 frames per second and 33 33s are almost not all or are not always supported in uh, browsers so you might want to take something between 16 and maybe 24 which also will 
um, yeah, will be the best one. I believe we check out what 16 will give us and later on maybe go to 24, which is a movie format, basically. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this, so preferences. Um, also, if you are recording, go to that small arrow once again and set this one to 16 frames, for example. Um, uh, we don't want to capture uh, full screen and we don't want to capture cursor. If you want to capture cursor, then make sure that you, um, yeah, make sure that this one is enabled in here. So when you click this, this small, uh, yeah, it's enabled like this. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. So what we can do right now is we can just set this one to any size we want, to anything we want to record. Again, make sure that it's not too big, otherwise you might have problems later on. Also, this will be stuff we will go over in a second. As you can see, we can later on also export an AV, uh, AVI from this, but actually we don't need to. And you have the possibility to uh, make some cool effects with this one. So what we do is we just press a record button, but not yet. Um, I want to start the rotation in um, Unity first. So if there is no cooling down or stuff, then um, we wouldn't actually record some seconds, for example. Okay, so as you can see, it's slightly lagging for me and it might lag for you too. So make sure you have a great machine to walk around with all that stuff. If it's not lagging, then yeah, feel free to use it as often and as good as you want. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have some... Um, I look to the right here and see where my the biggest crate is coming, which is going to be this one. And when it's going to be on the right, then I start the record. So I later on don't have the problem to find the right, um, yeah, the the right um, frame later on. Okay, so now my uh, meteor was one turn around. I stopped the recording, and now I can go. And yeah, actually stop the play mode in Unity and go to edit. When I added this one, I will get a new fun uh, window in here. As you can see, something is pretty weird here. This green one is going to be a green screen, which automatically checks what are the changed pixels and pixel colors from frame to frame. Um, but we don't need that, so we can right click and say green screen is going to be disabled. It will work a second and then everything will be black. Again, this has no effect to the GIF animation itself. And you can also say you want a preview for this. In the bottom here, I am on the save button, there's a small arrow and in here we can set a preview. So it's going to progress the whole stuff. And in a second, we can see a preview window. And what you also can see is if there is a problem with that, there will be, as you have seen, there are some frames which are too much. So I don't have a complete circle or uh, yeah, cycle around. So what we need to do is we take away some of the last frames. As you can see, the first frame is going to look like this. So my last frame needs to be this, but one before. If everything went Right, then this should be my last image, but those, um, everything following like this, for example, and this are not what I want to keep. So what I can do is I delete this frame by right clicking and set, yeah, this one to delete frame. And this frame needs to be deleted too. Actually, it, yeah, looks okay. Okay, so let's check the first frame once again. It's going to be like this. So we delete the frame here too, and maybe this is going to be our last frame. Yeah, that's also deleted. So now I have a four, uh, 85 frame cycle, and I go over and preview this one once again. So I'm gonna wait until my uh, biggest crate is going to come back. And as you have seen, there's no lagging, no nothing. It's just a full cycle right now. So I remember that prison, uh, that yeah, that position over there, and then made sure that the first and the last frame are not the same. 
Okay, so now I have done that. So what I can do is I can actually go over and save that. So what I do is um, I let this one to quantize. You can also go and yeah check any other of those um, yeah filters or whatever they are called and press the save button. When you have saved your data, then you should be able to preview this one in, in your browser. And now what I have is a 5 MB animation. I can, as you can see, I just drag this one into the browser since that's the easiest and fastest way to preview this. Um, we don't need GIF cam for the moment anymore, except you want to change something. And now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the back, black background. You have a lot of possibilities to do so. Um, if you have something blackish in your meteor or, or your rotating object, make sure that you uh, choose any background color in Unity on... Oops, a bug. Okay, don't worry, it just crashed. Um, choose any background color from the camera, like, I don't know, a magenta or cyan, any color which is not in your object, then you won't have laid on any problems with even online editors, for example. So how can we tr um, yeah, delete or get rid of the back black background through all that, um, yeah, GIF frames? And uh, the fastest way is we go to another website and this is going to be online image editor. So what we do is we select that transparency button in the uh, in just a second upcoming um, editor itself. And then we get rid of the background of, of the transparency in the background and save that stuff back to our website. So what we do is we go in here, go to search through and I changed mine or saved mine onto the desktop. Again, it's going to be 5 MB big for the moment for me. So yours might to be bigger or smaller. So plan in some time for uploading and stuff. So I go over and open my animation GIF and press the upload button. Okay, so with that uh, said, it should be done in just a second, depending of how fast your uploading speed is. Um, it will take a while. And once it's done, I'm going to be back and we will go over and continue. Okay, after it's done loading the wall editor and uh, was uploading the wall image or the wall animated GIF, we have the possibility to do anything like fancy round corners and stuff, but we don't care about that, since, except you want to do so, you have the possibility to do so. Uh, what I want to do is I want to just go over and take care of the black background and make this one transparent. What I do is I press on wizards and in here we have the transparency button press on that and you have the possibility for several different transparencies. What I want to do is I just go over and click the black color. This will be automatically turned in that gray um, yeah, overlay thingy over here and once it's done um, it will automatically delete all that black or everything which is black and delete it from the wall GIF. So make sure you don't have black in your object which is um, going to rotate. Also as you can see the size has changed a bit. It's a bit bigger right now. Uh, but you can always go in and uh, fiddle around with that to get smaller GIF animations or even faster ones. Okay, so once done, we can just press on the save button over here and press uh, and save this onto our local disk. So just say, okay, I want to save that and save that into whatever folder you want. Once it's done downloading, you will get a notice from your browser or I don't know. And when I click on that, it will be on my screen as you can see in the windows preview singy wingy you can see there's no trend, no color in the background anymore but it's not animated since this cannot play animations but and as i have done before when i um put this one into my browser so i open uh, this one up it has a weird name right now it's o i e i don't know whatever as you can see it is shown as white in here so uh, but i tell you this is not white this is going to be 100 percent transparent so the browser cannot show uh, like that the transparency in the gif file 
but if you go to your WordPress uh, site or wherever in your website, you will have transparency in the background, I promise. So that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, this is, yeah, again, the fastest way to create diff animations from in-game footage or from rotating objects. If you don't want to use Unity for your constant velocity rotation, you can also go into your um, 3D modeling program and render out of one complete turntable animation and uh, render it with a, I don't know, whatever you please background. So you can also go in and create bigger ones um, and render bigger ones. And you don't have to do the stuff with the animation um, with GIF cam, but you have to do all the rest with, for example, Photoshop. In Photoshop, you can also go in and delete the whole black background by just using the, mag uh, the magic tool, I believe, and just, yeah, delete everything around that. Or choose a, a color and then uh, replace the color with transparency. There are several options, and you can place the, or complete the whole animation in there too and load in all the frames into the animation window, I believe. Um, and even there, you can use... Uh, scripting or yeah script thing to yeah make stuff easier anyways that's it what I wanted to show I don't know well unity is still ru is still running um, make sure that you don't use super high res models in unity otherwise you might have lacking stuff in there I just wanted well I just was a bit too lazy to um, yeah make a low res mesh of that so I wanted to make it yeah looking pretty cool thanks for watching the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already sum this video up if you like it and feel free to become my patron or donate by using PayPal to support me and my channel in the future all links will be below in the description See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.